Welcome to This Week in Astronomy, brought to you by Celestron, the world's leading manufacturer of telescopes. I'm Dave Iker, editor of Astronomy Magazine, and you know the sky is filled with many, many, many great objects. One of them we were born in, an open star cluster. Our sun is 4.6 billion years old. Its sisters, however, those cluster members that were with our sun when our sun sparked on with its nuclear furnace, are gone because we've orbited the galaxy and tidal forces have dispersed those stars. But we can see many great open clusters in our sky. One of the great ones is at the feet of Gemini. It's the big, sprawling, bright open cluster M35. This is a group of uh, more than a couple of hundred stars that shine with the combined light of a fifth magnitude star. Uh, this cluster is about 3,000 light years away, um, so it's really large and bright. It's about the size in total extent of the moon's disk, really big for a cluster on our sky. There's a bonus here as well, because just a short distance away from M35, near its perimeter actually, is a much more distant cluster called NGC 2158. It's about 11,000 light years away, so it appears much fainter and sparklier, uh, like a sort of a bunch of salt grains that are spilled on a dark background. So if you go on a moonless night away from city lights and take a six or an eight inch telescope with you, you can see both these clusters in the same low power field of view, M35 and NGC 2158. One of the great deep sky duos, as we like to say, where you get a two for one payoff. And this is looking at our origin uh, how our sun began its life in a group of stars like this in the Milky Way's disk called an open star cluster. Take your Celestron binoculars, Celestron telescope, head out in the next few weeks and take a good look at M35 and its little friend nearby. You'll be glad you did. I'll see you next time.